Hello and welcome to the Harriet Miller Art Channel, giving you the techniques to produce amazing artwork. Today we're going to be colouring in a lion's head. Now if you'd like the tutorial on how to draw this lion's head, click on the link just here now. So to colour this in, you're going to need three coloured pencils minimum. You'll need a light yellow colour, a mid-brown and a dark brown or black. So I've actually used a couple more. I've used two different types of um, light yellow, then two different types of mid brown, and then a dark brown, and also this burnt ochre, which gives a nice kind of warm reddish feel, and also a bright orangey red. So I'll show you what to do with these just now. And don't forget, if you like to draw animals, click on the link just here to download my free PDF of how to draw horse galloping. Let's get started. So these are all the colours I'm going to be using today. You don't need quite so many. Um, if you don't have this many, I would recommend definitely having a yellow and you all need a light yellow as well, a brown and an orange. So you can make do with those colours, um, but if you want to get the full range of tones, then I suggest using a few more. Um, it's also quite useful to have a very dark brown. I'm actually going to use a little bit of black today. So to get started, we're going to choose my lightest colour which is a flesh pink, and then I'm going to go over it in a straw yellow colour. So we're going to cover the whole entire lion in these two colours. So what we're doing at the moment is we're laying the foundation of our drawing. So when we did um, when we've coloured it in using these two very light colours, we're showing where the lightest parts are going to be. I've coloured it in very, very lightly around the mouth area because this is almost white and also underneath the eyes. So we're going to kind of draw a spectrum. We've started off with the lightest, now we're going to do the darker areas, but don't press too hard when you colour in using these coloured pencils. I'm now going to draw one of the darker areas, so that's going to be just here. And I'm still doing it lightly because it's much easier to start off and just add multiple layers than it is to try and erase the parts that you've got wrong. So this whole entire line is just going to be built up layer upon layer. And I'm just going to um, talk you through all the different layers that I'm doing. So we're just carrying on with the darkest parts. There's another dark part just around here and also here around the face area. I try and colour in in the direction of the growth of the hair. So you can see that the hair is growing this way. So where the hair is growing in this direction, then I'll go a little bit more horizontal. So there's a dark patch just here at the crown. And just around here. There's also a dark patch here. Some of you have asked where are the ears and um, they're actually hidden in the mane, they're just around the back here. This lion has such a huge mane that you can't see them too well. So just keep on going. Okay, there's also a darker patch just in the centre of the head. So, just drawing the lion coming down. Again, I'm following the direction of the fur, like so. It's a little bit darker towards the edges of the face. Yeah. And there's a dark patch just underneath the eyes, so just colour that in. And there's another one on this side as well. Make sure that you're doing everything in symmetry. Okay, we're just getting all the tonal values, so the lights and the darks. So that's what we're starting off with. Now that we've done the two extremes, we're going to go in with all the mid-tones. So I'm going to add a brighter yellow. This one's called Naples Yellow. And we're just going to carry on. There's a nice big kind of yellow streak just in the main here. 
So again, I'm not pressing too hard, but a little bit harder than I was before. There's also another yellow streak on this side. So just coming all the way around. There we go. And then at the top here. And then the center of the forehead here. And then coming round. And then we're going to do the same on the other side. It's symmetrical. I'm pressing a tiny bit harder now. Now, pressing a little bit lighter, I'm actually going to go over the whole entire main area in this colour. Next, I'm going to go in with this burnt ochre colour. Um, it's quite orangey, reddish kind of brown. And then I'm just going to add another layer here on the main. The secret to this is just adding layer upon layer upon layer. It's quite therapeutic. Um, which is colouring in. It takes a little bit of time to get it right, but it's worth it in the end when you see the end results. So just carry on. I'm just gonna speed this process up a little bit more. Next, we're actually going to use this really strong um, orangey red colour. I'm not going to press very hard, but I just want to give a few areas a little bit more oomph, a little bit more red, make this line look a little bit more fiery. I'm doing this very lightly indeed. So this colour is so strong. It might be a little bit overpowering if I press a little bit too hard. covering a lot of the darker areas and particularly just around the face. Just there. Keep going. If you've come this far, you're doing so, so well. Don't give up yet. Don't give up at all. <laughs> just keep on going. This takes a while to get right, but it really is worth it in the end. It makes your drawing really, really stand out and look amazing. There we go. So we are now going to change colours and we're going to use this raw sienna colour. So if you can find like a sandy colour like this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over the whole entire lion, pressing a little bit harder. I'm going to go over it all except the whites underneath the eyes and also this little white patch here. So I'm just going to speed this up a little bit. Okay, now it's starting to take a little bit more shape. So we're going to make the darker areas darker. So I'm just using a dark brown and just pressing a little bit harder now. I'm just doing the really dark areas. So that's mainly underneath the chin, just down here. And 
middle so it's quite a bit darker down the bottom and we can press a little bit harder now If you do make a mistake, you can always erase it using an eraser. Okay, now back to the face. So it's quite a bit darker here underneath the eyes. I hope you can see that. Sorry, I seem to have used this colour so much. It's kind of gone down to a tiny little stump. You can tell which colours I use really often. going to do this side. And it's very dark. There's, there's a dark line going down the center. some horizontal lines going across. There we are. I'm just doing really lightly just underneath the mouth. Just underneath here as well. Okay, and there's a tuft of really dark mane up here. Okay, so now we're going to do the nose. So going back to my um, burnt ochre, colouring in, just like so. And then I've already added um, a base colour to the eyes, but I'm just doing them a little bit darker. Okay, and then darker still, just using the one that I was using before very dark brown. Okay, are you with me? Alrighty, so there's a few markings just here. It's much better if you can get a reference photo and then you can colour exactly the same as the reference photo. Okay, now it's really taking shape. I'm gonna carry on using the yellow, yellow, so I can't even talk, not even yellow ochre, this one's burnt ochre, I beg your pardon. So just around here. Just keep on going. And I'm pressing really quite hard now. So we're building up these layers, we're almost there. Just a few more to go. Okay, now I'm going back to the Naples yellow, the really bright yellow. Kind of, I'd call it a sunshine yellow. It's this nice golden color. And we're gonna press a lot harder now. So, just going over what we've done before, going over these darker parts as well, just so that it blends it all in.
Okay, last but not least, we're going to be using the black and we're going to go over those really dark areas. So just under the mouth, just here. And then under the chin here. Can you see how it makes it really come to life and bring uh, this part forward and pushes the mane back slightly. Also some of these areas down the bottom. Just going to draw a little bit darker underneath the eyes here. There we go. Not so much so that it looks like it's wearing eyeliner. I think I went a little bit overboard on that side, but I can correct that. Okay, and it's got this tuft of black fur at the top. I'm going to go over it in the bronze colour, just particularly at the bottom, which is a, a mid-brown. Particularly over the facial parts because I need to get rid of that really bright yellow. There we go. going over this white part just to show that it's not pure pure white Okay, now the last time I'm going to be using this really bright Naples yellow. I'm going to really press very hard now. I'm going to go back to my black and just make it even darker. So the last stage is called burnishing, where I'm going to use a very light colour uh, to cover the whole entire picture and to blend in all these colours together. So I've chosen this straw yellow, I might um, combine it with some flesh pink, we'll see how it goes. So I'm just going to speed this up as I go over with all of this and also press quite hard. Just like this, can you see what I'm doing? just in tiny little circles, just so that all the colors blend in together. So last but not least, I'm just going to just go over the nose area, just in a mid-brown, just like this. And there you have the finished lion drawing. If you've enjoyed this, please hit subscribe and like. And also, if you like drawing lions, check out my video just here on how to draw a lion roaring. So hope to see you on the next one. Thank you, bye-bye.